Okay, good morning, good day, good afternoon everyone. Kung ano mang oras ninyo ito na kita yung YouTube channel ko. And thank you na rin siguro kung um, ngayon ay nila-like, sinasubscribe, at sinashare nyo na po yung ano natin, uh, YouTube channel. And this time, I'd like to discuss to you sa mga bago nga po palang dating. Um, my YouTube channel as of this moment is all about the basic competency local treasury examination. Especially this... Uh, 2022 uh, exams na yung batch 1 ay this coming April at yung batch naman ay magiging ano, on October. So, hopefully, uh, this will really a great help to all of you. So, with that, welcome to the Common Enumeration Item Part 3. Nasa part na po tayo and Sana ay na, 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 nakita nyo na yung ating one at two and other videos related to the BCLT examination. So, I think I need to proceed with this uh, part 3. So, tapos ko na yung book 1. So, welcome to book 2 of updated Eltum. O, yan. Hindi ko magana. Ay, okay. Yes. With that, welcome to the book 2, The Receipts, Collection of Income, Revenues, and Other Fund Resources, the chapter 1, The Income from Local Sources. So with that, I'd like to share with you the section number 35, what are those uh, fundamental principles? Ito din yung lagi din tong hinahanap o tinatanong uh, kung ano yung except at saka all of the above. Ito yung mga questions na <laughs> kailangan... <laughs> In ano nila. So with that, let's start with uh, giving, uh, in, let's enumerate the following principle. Lima po yung principle and under letter B, meron pa siyang another four uh, uh, classification or types. So let's start with the letter A. Taxation shall be uniform in each local government unit. Letter B. Taxes, taxes fees, charge, and other impositions shall always be Ito yung sinasabi ko na tinanong din ito, be equitable and based as far as practicable on the taxpayer's ability to pay, be loved and collected only for public purposes, not be unjust, excessive, oppressive, and confiscatory, not be contrary to the law, public policy, national economic policy, or in restraint of trade. That's letter, uh, principle letter B. And let's talk about the principle letter C. And the collection of local taxes, fees, charge, and other shall in no case be let to any private person. Then, revenue collected pursuant to the prevention of this shall in your solely to the benefits of the local government. And each local government unit shall uh, practicable involve a progressive system of taxation. Yun lang po yung pinaka basic principle nila. Letter A, uniform. Letter B, dapat impose siya na sa taxpayer's ability to pay. Public purposes. Not be unjust. Not to be contrary to the law. Then, bawa hindi din pwede sa private person. It should always in your solid to the benefits of the government. And progressive system of taxation. Those are the five principles. Let's have another one. Under the book to also, I meron din, meron din naman tayong uh, limitations on the taxing powers of local government unit. May mga ano din, uh, limit na uh, hindi pwedeng hindi, uh, yung parang ganun, na ipatapad siya. So, una dito, yung income tax, except when lavid and the banks, uh, banks and other financial institution. Of course, the documentary stamp tax, the taxes on states, inheritance, the costume juries, except the warpage on warps constructed by the LGU. Then, uh, itong, okay, <laughs> may continue na wala po tayo dyan. So, let's continue with the common limitations of the taxing powers of the local government unit. The taxes, fees, and charge and other imposition upon goods carried in to or out of passing through the territorial jurisdiction of local government units in the gaze of charge for warfage tools, tools per bridge. And then, uh, agricultural and aquatic products when sold by marginal farmers and fishermen. 
and taxes on business enterprise certified by the BOI or the Board of Investments, especially on the pioneer and non pioneer for six and four years respectively from their registration. The excise tax on petroleum products and The percentages or the value added tax on sales, barters, exchange of similar transactions on goods or services except otherwise provided by the LG, LG code of 1991. The taxes on gross receipts of transportation, contractors, and persons engaged in transportation of passengers or freight by hire and common carrier by air, land, or water except by the LGC of 1991. Premiums paid by way of insurance or retrocession, and the charge for the registration of motor vehicles and for the issuance of all kinds of licenses or permits for driving thereof except the tricycles. The Philippine products actually exported except on otherwise provided by the LGC 1991, and the countryside and Business enterprises and cooperatives. I think this is part uh, part of the barangay then. And any agencies and instrumentalities of the LGU. Yun. Kung ano man yun, those are the common limitations of taxing powers of the local government unit. And still with book number two, there's the so called other receipts. On section 47, the common sources of the local government unit, revenue outside taxation, fees and charge, and shares in the national taxes and wealth and wealth. Number one, the sale of property, plant, and equipment. It pertains to the proceeds from the sale of properties like buildings, equipment, machineries, land, and tangible assets. Second is the contribution. It includes cash from any source. The sale of waste materials, it includes proceeds from the sale of waste materials such as office records, equipment authorized to be disposed and other waste materials. Entries income from the bank na kung saan yung LGU ay nakadeposito. And extraordinary receipts, those, those disposable assets and non-recurring income. So those are the five common sources of local government unit outside taxation property plan equipment contribution waste material interest income and extraordinary receipts okay uh, na tayo. next one of the never <laughs> never nawawala during examination ang pagtatanong nila the general allocation of the local government units on the annual era or the internal revenue allotment due para sa mga LGU na ina-allocate sa bawat province, cities, municipalities, and barangay. Una, magkano ang share ni province? 23%. Ang share naman po ni city ay 23%. Ang municipality ay 34%. At ang barangay ay 20%. Yun lang. That is the general allocation, the annual. Pag, ano, do not forget that this allocation is annual po. Balikan po natin. P23, C23, M34, and B20%. And, the total annual era due to the LGU shall be allocated among provinces, cities, municipalities in what share or distribution. Based on population, it is 50%. Based on the land area, it is 25 and based also on the equal sharing or is also 25%. 50, 25, 25, PLE, please, or the plea, PLE, plea, population, land area, and equal sharing. 50, 20, 20. Ito then. Uh, may mga talagang na, nalilito o nawawala kung yung pag-withdraw ng check or drawing of check payable to the local government bilang isang treasurer or cashier na gumagawa ng ano. Na, 
the check in payment of taxes and other indebtedness to the government must be drawn by the payer himself or herself and made payable to the local government unit. Example, the provincial treasurer of Ilocos Norte or the city government of Makati. Dito po dapat nakapangalan. And under no circumstance, it should never be, the following should never be accepted kung may binayad na cheque para sa local government unit. Dapat sisiguraduhin natin na ang cheque, the check drawn, hindi, it should not be like that. If the check is drawn payable to the name of the head of the local government unit or any of its officers, hindi pwedeng aksepin. That the check is drawn payable to the cash, endorsed check, post-dated check, and last but not the least, still check. Again, lima lang po ito na dapat nating bantayan that hindi pwedeng i-accept ang cheque pag ganito ang naka o nakikita natin. Una, ang cheque is drawn payable to the name of the head of the local government unit, drawn payable to the cash, endorsed ang cheque, post-dated ang cheque, and still check. So, these are our uh, part 3 para sa ating, no, par Part 1 siya para sa ating book to, pero part 3 na po siya sa videos natin related sa um, common enumeration items na I really believe itatanong nito at ang magiging uh, ano, choy, ano niya ay magi either accept or parang all of the above yung magiging sagot. So with that, din, dito lang muna siguro tayo. So Abang-abang pa sa ating ibang video. Thank you so much!